Well, there's some stuff in the preseason that I'm that have kind of got me a little bit uh, worried looking forward. I'll, I'll start with the Brooklyn Nets. Seth Curry is five months off of arthroscopic surgery on his ankle, and he is not yet cleared to go five on five. That is a worry. Hmm. Um, you've also got, um, you know, Joe Harris dealing with a sore ankle uh, after two um, after two ankle surgeries last year. That's a worry. Um, and one thing that has not been talked about a lot is Rudy Gobert being bothered by a sore left knee. Now, he's been watching and protecting his left knee for five years now since he hurt it in a playoff series against the, uh, the, the Clippers back in 2017. But Chris Finch, their head coach, said that he's been getting some treatment on it. And, you know, he's, he's been dealing with it. He, he missed last night's game against the Lakers. He hasn't been able to get. That's what they've seen. Too much Carl Towns and Rudy Gay, or Rudy uh, Gobert, are new teammates sitting on the sideline together. Mm. Rudy not getting much time out there. His left knee bothering him after coming back from, um, uh, you know, you know, you know, from the from the French national team. And, you know, I'm also worried about the Chicago Bulls. I'm worried about their starting point guard position with Lonzo Ball now out. They've uh, they've basically made Io Dosimu their their starting point guard, and he is not a point guard by nature. The guy they brought in um, to really sort of support the loss of Lonzo Ball was Goran Dragic, and he has not won the job. And so the Bulls are a team that's facing a very difficult Eastern Conference that is going to be going in with a starting point guard who is not a starting point guard by nature, and they're going to try to do it by committee. So um, these are three top mm. teams who are expecting to be good that, you know, they've got a, a, a little bit of a worry or two starting the season. Okay, so I took some notes here. Just to recap, Rudy Gobert's knee, a worry. Uh, Ayo DeSumo starting at point guard, that is a, a worry. Chine, which of these worries do you share? Uh, I, I think Rudy Gobert, but I only shared because I, we, I know his trainer. I trained with Fabrice Gutierrez, his osteopath, and there have been situations that we've seen with the Utah Jazz where he's been out for a significant, you know, days, uh, meaning in the postseason, but he's come back and had impacts on series. I also think that this is a little bit more of like load management. Sometimes it's very difficult for players that play in Eurobasket where France finished second and then have enough time to rest to be ready and fresh for an entire NBA season. I think they're doing the smart move. I think he has the right system around him to be able to be available. What I'm more so worried about is the time to build that chemistry between the four and five. When you have two big guys out there, Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert, how is that going to mesh? You need that time right now to figure that out. But they'll have time throughout the season in 82 games. Uh, look, look, the Rudy Gobert thing doesn't worry me too much because there was a ton of Euro basketball. So we don't know if, the, if it's them being cautious or him having a little something. They still do have time. And look, the Bulls, to me, they really not weren't on the radar. They still have a lot of things that they need to work out. They have a talented team, but I'm not sure where they are right now. So this doesn't really concern me. But the 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 Joe Harris, the Seth Curry, that does. Because if mm. Ben Simmons is going to be the best version of himself, the most amount of shooting that you can surround him, the better he's going to be, the more outlets he's going to be, the more comfortable he's going to be. Even with Kevin Durant and Kyrie, you still have more shooting on that team. You need one of those guys, Seth or Joe, healthy to kind of offset those two stars. I, I have a question for Wendy really quick. The Portland Trailblazers, do they concern you? Yeah, um, I, you know, Dame Willard, he is, he, you know, coming off of that abdominal uh, surgery that he had last year, we're hoping that he would bounce back. And he's not been awesome in the preseason. He's shooting, again, under 40%. That was one of the red flags last year that he was hurt, was that his shooting percentages, especially from three, plummeted. Again, 33% in the preseason from three-point range. Granted, we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt being mm. a veteran and he's going to warm up coming off this injury. But, um, you know, just it's a little bit worrisome. And the Blazers in general, especially defensively, have not looked impressive in the preseason. So uh, we're hoping for to see, you know, to, to DM <laughs> ramp up as the season starts. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.